Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani from learn-automation.com. Today in this lecture, we are going to talk about how you can configure 70 framework with Cucumber 4. So in this lecture, we are mainly going to talk about, first of all, how you can set up a project with Cucumber 4. And we'll talk about the folder structure, the default files, which is configuration files and other files which you will get when you configure your project. Then we will run some existing tests which comes along with uh, the GitHub which we will download. Okay, so we'll download a small repository which is kind of a starter guide for us. And we'll try to run some existing tests which already provided by Serenity. And we'll run them. If they work fine, we will also verify the reports. And once everything is done, if everything is running fine, then we will go ahead and run our own test. We'll create our own test. Uh, test scenarios and we will run them with serenity okay and we will customize the report as well now if you are completely new to cucumber and serenity then i would recommend i have one of the playlists available on my youtube channel where i discussed about the serenity in detail what is serenity bdd why we need how we can run the uh, you know normal web scenarios using serenity so if you want to run with Cucumber, then this is the video for you. But in case if you want to run your traditional test automation with Serenity, this is the playlist which you can follow. Okay. So now let's go back and see how we can start Serenity with Cucumber 4. Okay. Again, why I'm mentioning Cucumber 4 because Cucumber 4 is the latest version. And uh, in case if you want to use earlier versions of Cucumber, then there's a separate, uh, you know, starter guide available. So in case if you want to work with older Cucumber versions, then you can follow Serenity Cucumber Starter. But if you want to directly start with, you know, Cucumber 4, this is the perfect starter guide for you. So what you need to do, you just need to open this and you can see it's updated recently. So, okay, so let's open this uh, GitHub repository and uh, you will find existing, uh, you know, libraries which is already configured with the test with so all the properties file, pom.xml file and they have also given how you can run the test okay so I will walk you through everything uh, one by one so first thing you need to download this repository either you can clone it or you can download a zip file and import in your local Eclipse so I have already downloaded the zip file so I will show you the moment you download this zip file it will come something like this okay and the moment you extract this zip file you will get this folder so if you open this folder you will get a uh, pom.xml file which we need and in case if you're working with uh, gradle then you have to work with build.gradle file i'm working with maven so i have to mainly focus on pom.xml but in case if you're working with gradle this is the file for you which you have to make changes now the second step you need to import this in your current eclipse workspace so let me show you step by step. So click on import and click on existing Maven project. Click on the browse feature. And now let me go back to my desktop, Serenity Cucumber. And uh, this is the folder which is already extracted. So I'm just going to open this folder. It will detect the pom.xml file and you can simply click on finish. It will take few seconds and this project will be imported in your local system. You can see it started importing. And one thing which you can notice here that it is taking the latest version of Cucumber, which is 4.8.0. So let's wait for the project import and then we will resume the video. Yes, now project already imported to a workspace. Now let me show you the complete structure one by one. Okay, and uh, we will make the changes in the next video. But let's understand the folder structure and the files which is already present so that we can change them based on our requirement. So first of all, since we are working with, you know, test, so we are not going to make much changes in the SRC main Java. So ignore this folder. Main part is SRC test Java where we have to start writing our test uh, test uh, 
if you're working with cucumber we'll call this a step definitions okay so we'll keep all the step definitions under step definitions and we will keep pages okay based on our requirement so here right now they have search category navigation category and they already have given one new matches uh, you know package where they have written one text matcher functions now one more package which actually have the test suite which will run our cucumber test scenarios okay so right now we are not going to make any changes so this is starter have the main test suite which will run your feature files or the test scenarios and these three packages okay they have the pages which we are going to use so we are basically going to follow page object model here and we'll write our own pages and we'll call that pages in the step definitions so if you try to open this step definition okay so right now it has um, three steps library we have discussed this steps library in our previous videos in case if you haven't seen that videos please go ahead and watch so this steps library is coming from serenity so right now they are dealing with three pages and these are the some tests they have written now this part is done this is all about the step definitions pages and the test runner now if you open this maven dependency you will find it is using latest cucumber which is cucumber 4 okay so let's go ahead and see cucumber libraries just a second you will find here There's so many libraries are here yes so this is cucumber expressions yeah cucumber java 4.8.0 and cucumber core which is also 4.8.0 so perfect now it's updated with the latest cucumber now we are not dealing with gradle so if you open the serenity property right now it has only one property which is just just a project name and uh, if you open pom.xml all these dependencies plugins you will find here Okay, so if you try to read this right now, these are some basic properties and the properties they are using Serenity version 2.0.91. Okay, Cucumber version, uh, Serenity Cucumber, it's not the actual Cucumber, it's internal one, so it is 1.0.30. This is the main version which you are using 4.8.0, and these are some additional properties. So, right now, it has uh, basically you can execute four tests in parallel and base url so this base url anyways we will set uh, in our config file these are some other options okay repositories and main part is dependencies so these are the dependencies which is coming with this project and uh, finally we need one fail safe plugin you can also run the test in the surefire plugin but right now they are using one maven surefire plugin and maven fail safe plugin so using this plugin they are running this couple of tests which I will show you now okay don't worry and these are some other system property variables where you can change the base URL and other things don't make any changes as of now once uh, we have a requirement we will change this pom.xml file just try to open this file and read this okay so this is about the pom.xml file and uh, let's do one more thing open src sorry src test resource here you'll find the configuration file and in the configuration file if you see right now default it will take chrome driver when you run your test and these are the chrome switches in case if you want to make any changes in your settings you can come and make the changes here right now headless mode is true it means whatever test you will run which i will show you in few minutes it will run in headless mode later on we'll change this property and we will run in a normal mode and these are the drivers so the moment you download this project okay this github repository by default it will come with these drivers so they have created this navigation for windows these three browsers with exes for mac and linux so if you want to see this uh, just come here open this web driver and you will see so this is drivers and for windows for mac and linux so you can see here this is linux mac and windows now these are the environment like you can have multiple environments so by default they are giving one default environment and four or uh, three other environment 
So how to use this environment, we will also see how you can use the different environments. So let's assume you have different landscape, okay? You have dev landscape, staging landscape, production landscape. So you don't want to make changes in your test scenarios. You can come to this configuration file and you can make the changes. Now the last part and the most important part is the feature file, which is the main heart of your Cucumber, right? So if you open this search, they are giving one feature file. This feature file have two scenarios. So they're just doing a basic search, okay? And uh, this is what this test is all about. So we'll run this test and we'll see how it runs and we'll verify the report. So how do we run this? Again, if you go back, uh, they have already mentioned how you can run. So if you want to run your test, okay, you can see here, you just need to run Maven verify. And if you're working with Gradle, you just need to say Gradle test. So let's do one thing. Let's do MVN clean and verify. So I'm not giving any additional property. So let's run them on Chrome and the next stage we will run on the Firefox. So this is my terminal and uh, you can actually run them from Eclipse as well. But let me show you from the terminal directly. So first of all, uh, let me go back to that exact location. So it is available under Serenity. Cucumber, this is the main folder. Here I have two zip file and two folders. So I will simply switch to this particular folder. So I will say CD, Serenity, Cucumber 4. Okay, if I put LS, yes, I have form.xml file. So let me simply run this. I will say, okay, this is the main URL, which I will show you in minutes from where you can get this link. For the time being, just remove this. Just say MVN, clean and verify. So it will take few seconds, depends on your internet connection. If you have existing libraries, it will start immediately. Otherwise, whatever libraries are missing, it will download and then it will continue. So you can see test starting. And uh, you can see the info logs now. Serenity started. And by default, guys, it is in headless mode because that file hidden mode is equal to true. So all the tests run in the backend and you will directly get the reports. So one test passed. Now it will run another test, which is nothing but the actual scenario which we have mentioned in the feature file. And that is very basic test. So it passed very quickly. And you can see, yeah, test started and passed. Perfect. So finally, you can see uh, some console logs that all the tests are done to passed. Total time 23 seconds and you can find the full report under target folder. Again, we have site folder, sanity folder and the main file is this. Okay. So let me show you this file. Go back to Eclipse. Just refresh your project. You will find a target and uh, go to site go to serenity go to index.html file which is this and here we go so this is the final report let me open this in a chrome browser so right now uh, if you see the summary part and if you see the test result these are the features so if i go back and open eclipse don't worry guys, I will show you how you can create your own test. As of now, let's uh, understand the functionality. So if I go to SRC, uh, not SRC, SRC, feature, search. So you can see the feature file was search by keyword. Okay, so same feature file, but two different scenarios. So scenario one was searching for term, which is already here. And another was refining a search using the two terms, which is this. If you open the scenario, so this has three steps, given, when, then, and this has given, and when, then. So this has three steps, this has four steps. And see the beauty of Serenity for each and every step, okay? It will show you how much time it has taken and the screenshot, proper screenshot. This was the first screenshot. Second screenshot was 
when he searches for cucumber so this is the one and the finally the result one right now if you go back see the other test which is refining a search using two terms it has four steps and for each step you have a proper screenshot with the outcome of each step and finally how much time each step has taken perfect now let's go back to requirement now you can see this uh, actually a tree structure so if you try to relate this is the search part right and this is search by keyword which is nothing but your feature file so for each feature it is going to create a folder and this folder has two scenarios and these are the details of these scenarios so if you see the report part it is very impressive they are actually creating complete hierarchy whatever you have mentioned in your eclipse and it is giving the same hierarchy with proper screenshot about each and every step okay so just uh, we'll explore this again we can make some changes like if you want to change this and if you want to customize this report we'll talk about this in the later stage now if you just open this part terminal once your test is done okay i just want to show you one more information okay it's not here just let me open that file which is serenity.config file okay so you will find a link in the configuration file regarding this environment so in case if you want to make any changes in the environment so there's a detailed article by john you can just open this url and you just go through this url it's uh, mainly about how you can run the test in a different environment anyways we'll discuss about this in a dedicated video but in case if you want to go ahead so John is the founder and the guy who has created this library. Okay, so this is his blog. You can go through his blog. He has given awesome tutorials about Serenity framework. So we can now run the same test in normal mode. So I will go back here and I will change this value to false. And I will simply run the same command. And it will run in a normal mode. wait for the execution yes it started now and you will see some other links okay uh, while this test are running so please go ahead and explore the links which they have mentioned it is going to simply just go to this DuckDuckGo which is another search engine search for cucumber and similar test but they are just verifying two different things and yes it's done okay so browser opening closing everything they have already taken care you just need to focus on your test and finally you will see the result and same report you will get in the directory which you can verify so report part will not change only the mode of execution has changed perfect so you can see it's very easy now our task is to write our own step definition okay so first of all we'll write our own feature file own step definition we'll write pages okay and finally we will run them using cucumber test runner and perm.xml file that's we will discuss in the next video so in case if you have any doubt in this video let me know in the comment section and if you're new to this channel hit the subscribe button and uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section have a nice day Bye bye